Hello everyone. Today I have this little painting that I did on some watercolor paper and I was getting ready to flatten it and thought, you know what? I'm going to just hit record because some of you might like to see how I go about this process. So today we're going to be straightening out a piece of watercolor paper that has badly warped. I did this piece. I'll have a video coming out on that here on the channel. And when I did this, I was working with the Marabou Yono markers. These are an acrylic like paint pen, paint marker, whatever you, whatever you prefer to call it. And I was working with water and this is just the Canson, like Canson XL paper. I'm still on the hunt for what is going to be my favorite thing to work with on this paper because watercolor it is not and you can see why this was taped down which you'll see in the video when i um get that out this was taped down and this was a reference photo by lou's uncle that i got to paint with his permission and uh, yeah so i'll have all that information of course i'm going to link to his instagram below so you can check that out. He has some amazing photography work. And anyways, this was just a quick study. I wanted to do the clouds and the reflections, but that is for the other video. Today, we're looking at how we're going to smooth this out. So I have my Cricut Easy Press. You could use uh, an iron on low heat. So the 210 degrees Fahrenheit, this is the lowest the Cricut, um, the Easy Press will go. So I'm going to use that. I also have <clears throat> just some tracing paper and it's just an inexpensive tracing pad. It is um, acid free and that's, that's what's important to me. So I want to make sure that because it's going to touch my art that that's what I'm using. This is just my, my pad for my easy press to protect my desk from the heat. So one of the things I'm going to do first is I would set down um, a piece of paper so that when I put my art upside down, you know, that's what it's making contact with. It's not on this surface. Now, also, you're going to want to make sure that whatever medium you use is not negatively affected by heat. I have just a fine mister and I'm going to mist the back of this paper. And I'm going to let that soak in for a minute and you'll, you're going to end up seeing it move and, and flex and that's fine. And it's actually curled a little bit more, but that's okay. We're just going to let that absorb in for a moment. And I will jump ahead as soon as I've given this time to kind of soak into the back just slightly. Okay. You can see here, this has really, I sprayed it a little too much. My, my mister gave a little bit more than just a fine mist, but that's fine. You see, it's really curled itself up even more, but that's okay. We're going to lay it flat. And now if you're doing this with, and there's watercolor, like these are acrylic paint pens. I'm not worried about it reactivating the other side, but if you're doing this on a watercolor, you're going to want to make really, be really careful that you don't get water on the front side of your painting because you could mess it up. And this here, like I said, my mister got a little carried away, but it is what it is. All right. So I've just kind of pinched this between. If my artwork was bigger, I would have just used two sheets. And I'm just going to take my Easy Press. And I'm going to move the base a little out of the way. And I'm going to come in and make sure that this is nice and flat. And I'm going to press it on here. And what I like about this is it actually has a timer. So I can hit that. And now it's going to count my... 30 seconds. And I could have made that less if I wanted to. I'm just moving this around because I want to keep that flowing. And I don't even have to go the full 30 seconds. We'll go 15. That's fine. Set that back in its base. And now I lift this off you can see I've gotten 
that was the, the timer. 30 seconds is up. It's gotten quite a lot straighter. Now it's not perfectly straight. So I'll just do it one more time. I'm not going to, it's still a little damp. I'm not going to spritz it again. Just leave it in there. I'm going to set this, set this on here. Hit my thing again so that I know how long I'm doing this for. And again, I'm uh, moving it around. I don't want to just leave it be. And if you were doing this with a regular iron, you would want to be very careful that it's on your lowest setting. Always start with your lowest setting and see ooh, how that works, how it goes. You don't want to damage your artwork. You just spent all that time creating it. And there we go. And now my artwork will lay nice and flat. So there you have it. And it's, it's curling cause it's warm. I'm just going to put something on top of this to make sure that it stays nice and flat. Doesn't curl up on me as it cools, but there you are. I hope this helped. If it did, uh, give it a drop a thumbs up there. And I greatly appreciate that. It helps YouTube show this video to more people. And I'm going to be sure and put another video that you might like right here. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye guys.